it all started in 2009 when I had my collection of sugar tongs. I felt it had come to as far as it could go. It was getting expensive. There wasn't much variety. And I'd sold them. And I had some money when I went to an antique fair in Birmingham. And I saw a pair of legs on a stall hold at the store. And I asked her about them. And she said, well, they both come from the same family, so I'd like to sell the two together. And I negotiated a deal. And so I'd already got the first two. And I thought, well, this may be something that will go further. Well, it did very quickly because my wife said, well, I've got a nail file in the shape of the leg. You can have it as well. And that's how it all started. All these 170 I have at the moment, I bought one last weekend, they are all legs which are functional. They do something, be it um, a bottle opener, be it a nail file, be it a pipe tamper. I did uh, recently do, over the period of two years, a fortnightly blog about some of these legs. And I covered every one of them, a bit about the history. I started because it was something, I wanted to collect something different. Um, I'd collected stamps, I collected train numbers, I collected sugar time, but I want, I want something different. And so when I got these two together, and then my wife added the third, I thought, you know, there is a future for this. When I'm looking for them, I'm look, really all I'm looking for is something that I haven't seen before. That's what I want to add to the collection. Um, it doesn't matter what style it is. I, there are no duplicates. There's no particular thing. I don't have a fetish for legs or anything like that. Um, it's just nobody else does it. It's nice to be unique.